Coach Greg, in today's video, I'm going to be rating your genetics. And by you, I mean the subscribers. And so to participate in this, you had to submit before and after photos after training for at least five years. Going to look at your before photos and assess what chance do you have of being a bodybuilder? Do you have a great physique with the potential to put on muscle? You've watched Natty or Not videos from me in the past. You've seen the before and after transformations. And so, do you have amazing genetics? Well, in today's video, we're going to find out. And so, photo number one, we have Jeremy. And in the before photo, you might be thinking, yeah, he's not all that built. He just, all right, he's average. For a man to look like this without any form of lifting weights, this is way above average genetics. Potentially even elite level genetics. And you're thinking, well, how come? Well, the guy has the chest, the arms, the shoulders, and he is actually fairly lean. And so I'm not surprised that in the after photo, you can see this guy is shredded. Look at the muscle, the definition, the detail. And as lean as this guy is, imagine if he were to go on a bulk. If this guy were to approach perhaps 15% body fat, he'd be huge. And so if you have a physique like this before you even start lifting weights, you can do amazing things. Up next, we have Lynch and Lynch is in high school. Look at the guy's legs. In particular, look at the calves. Guys who are mesomorphs typically have great calf muscles. If you have great calves, biceps, quads, and so on, you are very likely to put on muscle. Now, it doesn't automatically work this way. Obviously, there are exceptions, but guys who have great calves to begin with, they're gonna have amazing calves after they start lifting weights. A guy like Flex Lewis, guys, with that kind of muscle, they have amazing calves even then they were teenagers. And so you can see, even without training, the guy had some quads. You can see the muscles in his calves and although his arms aren't very big, they are in fact very lean. And so after seven years of training, and I do believe he's in fact natural, you can see the results of his hard work. In the after photo, you can see his best body part, it's still his quads. Notice how his quads were better developed than his arms when he was a teenager. And so with continued hard work, what do you think was the result? The legs, they continue to grow, perhaps at a faster rate than the arms, and the end result is a great physique. However, I do believe better development in the lower half than in the upper half. And so if you look at the quads, the calves, and so on, better developed than the upper body. And so up next, get this name, Sea Rabbits Loves Jelly. And so he's been training for only eight years. He started at only 13, and before that, he loved biking. Look at his before photo at 13. The guy has abs, he has the beginning of a chest, and he does in fact have very good arms. This is a lot of muscle for only being 13, and he enjoys bike riding, he enjoys playing sports, and he took up weightlifting at a very early age. Now, look at him eight years later, 21. In particular, please answer along with me. What do you think is his best body part? Look at the quads. The quads are crazy. And so perhaps that bike riding, he got him an early start. His lower half is far better developed than his upper half. And so perhaps he has better genetics for the legs, less quality development in the upper body, but still an amazing physique. He has a small waist, he has a lot of muscle in the arms, but notice the chest is not touching close to the center. And so no matter how much muscle he puts on, he'll never have an amazing chest. It can of course get bigger, perhaps he trains another 10 years, but it's never going to be fully developed. If you see the center, you want your chest to be very close to the center. If your chest is attached very far apart, you're never gonna get the kind of development that you want. We have a famous guy in the world, his name is Seabum, Chris Bumstead. Did you ever see his biceps? Were they impressive? I don't think so. And the reason for that is because of his insertions. They are very close to the shoulder. And so he doesn't have the same muscle roundness. In comparison, he has amazing quads, a small waist, very wide clavicles. And so that gave him great genetics but not great genetics for biceps. Everyone has strengths, everyone has weaknesses. This guy most certainly has redonkulous quad development. Now remember, even with great genetics, to get a physique like that, it's not likely to happen without performance enhancing drugs. And see his physique in this photo at only 21 years of age, I highly doubt he's natural. I would bet the farm that this physique was not achieved through natural means. Not saying it's impossible, but my opinion is perhaps one in a million are gonna get this kind of transformation while being 100% natural. But regardless of that, if you're natural or enhanced, you still need the genetics. If you give me a very below average physique 
and give them all the performance enhancing drugs in the world, they're still not gonna end up looking like Chris Bumstead or any professional bodybuilder. But if you take an amazing physique, one that's gifted while being 100% natural, that guy, natural, will oftentimes look better than the person abusing steroids for years. And so remember, the way you look in the end, it has a lot to do with your genetics. If you don't have great genetics, it's literally an uphill battle. It's going to be very difficult to achieve your goals. Next up, we have the guy, his name is Freak. Been training for six years. Now, in the before photo, you can see the guy is obese. He's not just overweight, he's obese. Clearly has too much body fat. On top of excess body fat, he also has more muscle. He's not skinny fat in the before photo. He has a lot of muscle and a lot of fat. You might consider he's built more like a power lifter, yet he hasn't even began lifting weights. And so are you surprised to see that in six years the guy has added a lot of muscle? And clearly by following a seco diet, calories in, calories out, he's been eating in a deficit and is allowed to get a lot leaner. And so he's posing the biceps. Notice he's posing all wrong. How many times have I said biceps higher than the delts? And so because he's posing like this, his arms, they could look a lot better. Compare myself right now versus the biceps on the top. And so overall, he perhaps doesn't have the best genetics for being lean as evidence from the before photo, but he has great genetics for putting on muscle. And what do we call these individuals? We call them endomorphs. Endomorphs easily put on both muscle and fat. They gain all kinds of weight. And so what you do as an endomorph is you simply don't eat in a bulk. If you don't bulk and you follow the rules, but calories in, calories out, you can clearly put on muscle, drop body fat at the same time. Up next, we have King. He's been training for just over five years. And in the before photo, can't see any amazing genetics at all. I see a guy with average or perhaps even below average genetics. Guy doesn't have a chest. He doesn't have great arms. And he does, in fact, have a belly. But do you know what? Just because he has below average genetics doesn't mean he didn't put in the work. Doesn't mean he didn't try. And although he could never have a physique like Chris Bumstead, it did not deter him. And after five years plus of hard work and not eating any calorie surplus, he's allowed himself to decrease his body fat enough so that you can see his abs. Everyone can get abs. Not talking about crazy six pack of a professional bodybuilder, but everyone can diet to the point of showing some abdominals. And with five years of hard work, he's also dropped his body fat so that he no longer has body fat in the lower chest. The chest is now well formed. And for a guy with below average genetics in the starting point to end with a physique like this, this is superb development. And so perhaps he'll never have the physique of a bodybuilder. But this in the after photo is clearly an above average physique. I would suggest he continues to main gain. He looks very healthy, perhaps 15% body fat, and he should simply continue. And so let this be a lesson to you. Just because you perhaps have below average genetics doesn't mean you can't end up with an above average looking physique. Up next, his name is ZTS. ZTS. He's been training for seven years. Started out in high school. He started out at 98 kilograms. That's under 220 pounds. But look at his physique at the start. Clearly overweight and or obese. And so you're thinking, what about his genetics? Well, his genetics are perhaps that of an endomorph. He very easily can gain body fat. But here's the thing. Losing body fat is way easier than gaining muscle way easier. And where's the evidence of that? Well, look at him on stage. He's 70 kilograms, 154 pounds. And so he's lost perhaps over 60 pounds of body fat in order to get up on stage. And as, as he stands up on stage, you can see he looks very, very good. I do believe this guy is 100% natural. He's not perhaps shredded to the bone on stage, but for being a natural athlete, he looks very good. His genetics in the before photo, as described before, an endomorph, endomorphs easily put on muscle and body fat. And so what he's done is he's dropped his body fat and is now main gaining. And look at him now, 78 kilograms, close to 175 pounds. He has the small wakes, the six pack. And of course, again, how many times am I going to say this? By the end of my life, I want people to flex with the biceps appropriately above the deltoids. And so an amazing physique. And so what I saw in the before photo was, although he was overweight, he does have great genetics. Great genetics for bodybuilding because it's very easy to rectify the problem of being obese. You just eat in a calorie deficit. If, for example, you get my cookbook, you eat all the low calorie recipes, it's going to make it that much easier to lose weight. Add in the training and seeing his muscle is the hardest thing to get. If you have have great genetics for putting on muscle that is the hardest part and so in the end 175 pounds of muscle very lean physique small waist guy looks 
absolutely amazing with seven years of hard work in the gym. And last but not least, we have Lang Dai. He's been training for six years. He's documented his journey each and every year. And in 2017, his starting point, you can see the guy is very lean. He has a little bit of muscle, but we can't really tell his potential for muscle growth. Based on the photo, I'm going to say he has an above average physique. Not many teenagers have more muscle than that. You may in fact be brainwashed. You're seeing all these professional athletes and so on. When you go through Instagram, and social media, you're being presented with the best physiques of the best. The reality is most teenagers don't look this good. And so in my opinion, his starting point, it's above average. And so you can see within one year, he's already put on a ton of muscle. And so clearly the guy has above average genetics. As the years go by, you can see he's bulked slightly in 2019. Not a large bulk, still pretty lean. 2020 though, got a lot leaner. Fast forward to 2023 and the guy, he in fact has an amazing physique. He has wider shoulders, developed arms, the chest, and a clearly defined Six pack. Most certainly looks like a guy, if he were to compete, could set foot on a bodybuilding stage. And so the point of this video is no matter what your genetics are, you can do better. If you're overweight or obese in the starting point, go on a calorie deficit, lose some body fat. You have the genetics to put on the muscle. All you need to do is alter your diet. If your starting point is you already have muscle and you're very lean, you are in fact a mesomorph. You were born to do this. You just look at the weights and you put on muscle. Coupled with the fact that it's not easy for you to put on body fat and you're going to be lean with muscle. And so please stick to training, get to the gym. Now, if you have no muscle, you're an ectomorph, you don't know what your true potential is. It'll be harder for you to put on a lot of muscle. But here's the thing, because you're lean, the little bit of muscle that you do put on is going to be very noticeable. If you put on 10 kilograms or perhaps 22 pounds of muscle over the course of five or 10 years, you're going to look like a beast. 10 kilograms of muscle, 22 pounds is a lot on anyone. And so please, if you're doing this for the aesthetics or perhaps to attract a mate, you're a guy looking to get a girl, you want to have that impressive physique. Try to maintain a lean percentage of body fat, 15% body fat, or perhaps even a little bit lower, 12% body fat. If you can maintain 12 to 15% body fat with a little bit of muscle, you are going to be highly desirable. That is an impressive physique. Go to the gym, do your cardio, put the fork down, eat healthy, and you will have the physique that other men wish they could have. Looking for the best natural supplements you can buy, look no further than Geo2 Max and Turk Builder. Increased energy, build more muscle. You will not believe how good the top two selling supplements really are. Head over to my website, code Greg, 15% off. Don't forget about the cookbook, the training books, the coaching plans by me and my team. And if you're in China, consider getting the Mandarin cookbook. It's written in Mandarin so everyone can read it at home. It has the circle diet book, exactly how to lose weight and keep it off for the rest of your life. And consider also having the fitter than last time training program. It's at your fingertips, literally. You can get the program. Click the link in the description. Lose more weight than last time. Get into the shape of your life. Subscribe, click the bell button, comment to boost the algorithm. Please like the video if you in fact liked it. Watch one of those two boops. And of course, the cookbooks, training books, coaching plans by me and my team, the circle diet book, the harder than last time clothing line. Get all this on the website. If you got no money, get the free diet and training program. It's close to 50 pages. Join the 300,000 plus newsletter subscribers. And until next time, I am out.